Hi, welcome again on uh, Arch Linux Rolling here, Arch Rolling X Monad. It is true that on Arch Linux D or Arch Linux or Arch Linux B, a lot of things have been taken care of already, and it's not if you build it up from Arch Linux. So if you start the phase five and you start building it gradually up, even after all our Arch Linux D scripts, there are stuff that we have not explained that are not okay, that are not working. So you need to figure out all the Lego blocks and this one I'm going to explain you because it's a rather difficult one. What we've done in um, Arco X Monad, we have, I think it's video number one or was it two, we started to try and run auto login and that did not work. So it's just about this specific thing here when we try to read it, it says um, let's ask the user's password so Eric in my case and then he's going to create the user Eric and he's going to add it to a group but the group doesn't exist and that's what we don't do on our ISO we in, in Calamaris and so on we make sure that this group exists but this is Arch Linux so we have to work our way a little bit around and we can do it manually but you can also do part of it um, in a terminal and then run the script as well that's two options and the first option I did just now to test it out and I'm thinking maybe I should do the second option now because what it says is, is he asks here what's your login so what's your name to log in the choice and put it in here but he wants to do it he wants to um, let's run it so you see if you run number 800 go inside the proper window then it says that's all fine and good so this is Eric I put it in and it asks the password for it and it says group auto login does not exist so the only thing we need to do is a line that's already inside our um, well ISO when we build it and I'm looking over it's going to be group at minus R and then auto login we're going to make a group. I was just thinking it might be a small one and it is a small R. So we will do this and we run it again. The group does exist. I give him my name and everything works. That's even easier than doing everything manually. But let's take a look anyway what changed. So he's going to write inside etclightdm.conf, right? So you go there and you see what did this script do. Again, lightdm, that one, open it up with the same sublime text, that's good, so it's next to each other. Forget plain text, use Perl, everything that's light is, is going to work and all the rest not. So that's what it did, auto login Eric, and it's going to change to auto login session X monad, meaning everything should work. If we log out and log back in, no, if we restart and we log back in automatically. That's the point of this 800, that's the point of this video. What we were missing was a group called auto login. If we make a group, then we can run script 800 and we are going to auto login. That's basically it. All right, enjoy.